I, I entered into the relationship with the feeling of this is a job that needs to be done. And I was not prepared for the blessings that I would receive at the other end. My husband Larry uh, began probably close to 20 years ago when he was um, asked to send away an individual that was disrupting a singles group and he just couldn't do that. So he began to meet with him and then pretty soon the word spread and then it grew and sometimes there are as many as 15 or 16 people on a weekly basis. They were the individuals that first um, started uh, ministering to the group home of the disabled and then one of them was going to move away and needed somebody to fill in for him and that's where I stepped in that was almost 10 years ago. When I first met Annie who has a disability of cerebral palsy I didn't know what to say or how much conversation to have with her. She is probably more open and welcoming than I was. I was probably a little shy. She's very gracious. Very gracious. You know, it, it's hard because you don't want to dehumanize or say anything, but I was uncomfortable. I did not know how to relate to Annie, and um, it was from spending time with her and getting to know her that uh, brought about a very close relationship. Annie is um, assistant captain of the ushers on Saturday nights and that's something they bestowed on her and she's very proud of that and she greets people and her joy is observed by people and she loves St. Andrews. It's her family. It causes you to reflect on the blessings that we have and to see someone who has um, the constraints of having people to have to take care of her and so forth, but yet she feels so blessed. She humbles you. I think what is so engaging about Annie is her warmth, her graciousness, her love of the Lord, and um, her assumption that everyone is as loving as she is. <laughs> and that is very welcoming. It's hard to talk about the things I've learned and, and so forth with Annie without making it sound like we're anything less than equal, you know? Just through um, conversations with Annie, it causes me to have a, a different view toward adults with disabilities um, because I see Annie. <laughs> We are close friends, and um, she'll say sometimes during the service, I love you, Sue Ann, and I'll say, Annie, I love you too. And uh, it, it, it has changed me. I'm Sue Ann Beatty. I'm not a fan. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ.